first of all focus on your past paper questions okay and you need to basically uh, like think on the special questions that we have like focus on the question that make you think along with data analysis questions okay so isme basically these are questions jisme aapko sochna padta hai so make sure to keep practicing those okay and at this stage what i want you to do is do not basically start new books or notes okay do what you are already doing jo aapke paas notes maujood hain ya aapke paas jo book maujood hai usi ko padhte rahe uske sath familiar hain to keep going through that okay so in regards to students who are targeted in a grade jo is time b pe hain and they want to target an a grade unko kya karna chahiye stage pe so they need to revise whole syllabus with notes or a book you are familiar with once again do not open new book or start new notes okay यदि स्टडी मतलब ऑनलाइन आपके नोट्स पड़े हुए हैं तो आपने उनको पढ़ना शुरू कर देना प्लीज डू नॉट डू दैट ओके जिसके साथ फेमिलियर हैं सिर्फ वही पढ़ना है आपने स्टेज पे एंड देन सॉल्व एट लीस्ट थ्री इयर्स ऑफ पास्ट पेपर क्वेश्चंस ओके ऑल वेरिएंट्स वन टू एंड थ्री ओके सारे वेरिएंट्स के एटलीस्ट थ्री ईयर्स के ऑब्वियसली जितना ज्यादा कर लेंगे उतना आपका फायदा है इसमें देन मूविंग ऑन टू स्टूडेंट्स जो कि बी ग्रेड को टारगेट कर रहे हैं ठीक है वो सी पे है एंड देर टारगेटिंग बी ग्रेड सो रिवाइज द सिलेबस वंस अगेन solve the past paper questions lekin aapko sare past paper questions ke solve karne ki zarurat nahi hai just use the topical questions okay and mr einstein said he said that if you have 1 minute like 60 seconds to solve a question spend the 45 seconds understanding the question use the remaining 15 seconds to basically solve it okay uh, so read the question carefully take your time understand the question and then attempt it okay okay point number 2 pay attention to keywords special keywords like not except always okay as they can significantly significantly affect the correct answer so pay special attention to those okay we are going to take a look some of the sample questions at the end of the uh, lecture when we are solving the questions okay okay next step analyze all options before selecting an answer carefully evaluate all choices provided okay sometimes there may be more than one plausible answer but you need to choose the most accurate or appropriate one based on your knowledge now i know you might have all come up with questions like like when you read those they have multiple correct answers okay and you're like cambridge has lost it okay like they are like fooling us we are we are correct okay this is the correct option but okay, but try to understand uh, choose the one that you think is most appropriate okay there may be uh, more than correct uh, like more than one option that is correct okay so choose the one that is more accurate and appropriate that you remember studying from your notes or book or whenever you you were basically practicing the past paper questions okay another tip use the elimination method i bet you might have all heard about it use use the this technique like read the question carefully like and basically cancel out the options that you think are like not the answer to that like if you are unsure about the correct answer try to eliminate the obviously incorrect choices okay like this strategy basically ultimately you leads you to the correct answer like jaise jaise aap cancel karte rahenge apne jo answer aapko pata hai ki nahi hai aapke paas ultimately ek aisi option bach jayegi jo aapko beshak pata bhi nahi hogi na ki ye correct hai lekin wo ultimately correct option ki taraf hi aapko lead karke leke jayega okay then pay attention to the qualifiers now what are qualifier words basically like these are words like always sometimes never most likely usually okay so these qualifiers can basically provide valuable clues about the correct answers ultimately ye basically the scooby doo mode the na clues dhoondte the wo that led to the solving the mystery questions big mystery hote hain right questions are mystery so these are some clues that will basically lead you towards the correct option okay uh for those who are not familiar with military exam like we have a military exam here known as issb and you know what they say uh, basically they say go with your instincts like jo aapko the like the first answer that you give is most probably the correct one okay so the tip that i am giving you right here is basically do not change the answers without a good reason like generally it is best to stick with your initial answers unless you have compelling reason to change it like uh, the military example that i gave you basically comes from the research basically research shows that initial instincts are often correct and changing answers frequently leads you to more mistakes and obviously other than that uh, 
it causes diversion and then there are issues with time management obviously that is the next step i'm coming to okay try to manage your time uh in uh in igcsc you have 45 minutes to solve the question that is different for gc and then as level obviously has different time so try to manage the time properly keep track of the time during the exam uh, to ensure that you have enough time to answer all questions like if you encounter a challenging question it is, it is better that you move on and return to it later okay so leave questions that you find difficult you can always come back to those when you are done with the solving the easy one like obviously uh, if you are sure of something obviously you're going to get marks out of it like so spend most of the time doing those questions okay come to the questions that you have issues with later on okay and the kernel of all tips believe in yourself uh which like with which kingdoms do bacteria share the same genetic code okay now uh this question is like a question that you need to think about okay so uh here are a couple of options now remember uh bacteria is a prokaryote okay and you might have heard heard the like story that mitochondria and chloroplast used to be a bacteria at one point okay so each animal plant cell or fungi or protocyst have a chloroplast or a mitochondria at least so what do you think is going to be the answer to that obviously the answer is going to be a animal has a mitochondria so obviously it shares a genetic code with the bacteria plant has both so once again it has a genetic code similar to bacteria then fungi fungi has a mitochondria once again it shares a genetic code with the bacteria and protocyst it has both mitochondria and as well as chloroplast okay so the answer was a now moving on to the next question okay time starts now start thinking guys this moving on to the answer it's it's b okay now let's discuss this question okay why is it b let's read the question carefully a chromosome was analyzed and found to have 6 1 2 5 pairs of bases okay now try to understand it's talking about pair of bases this is a keyword uh, hidden here okay so if it's talking about the pairs it means this number is going to double up okay this number is going to double up then the second part of this question the type of each base was identified and 2 3 4 5 of bases were g so you all know that uh, g and c go together and a and t go together okay so the question was how many of these bases in this chromosome were t so first of all double this number okay which is going to be 12250 okay so if you have g it is quite obvious that the c will be also the same as g okay so double this number up and minus it by 6 the total number that you found out okay that was 12250 and from that obviously you can half it up and come up with this number ultimately okay now moving on to the next question okay uh guys go ahead and solve this question it's a so how did we come up with this answer uh basically uh, take a look at here Uh, a food label is from a packet of cereal the label can help someone who is concerned about their diet okay uh and then this is the basically nutrition value and this is basically a typical value of 100 grams okay so the values that you're seeing is present in the 100 grams of this uh food okay so a person eat uh 45 gram of cereal and one of the food type listed in the label can help prevent constipation so Uh, we know that fiber is basically the nutrient that protects our, ourselves with uh, our body from constipation so how many grams of the of this food type does the person eat okay so uh, if we take a look at here uh, in the 100 gram value uh, the fiber that is present is 2.8 gram so simply figure out the math that how much will be uh, present in the 45 gram of cereal so if you calculate using the ratio method you will ultimately come up with the answer of a okay it's 1.3 gram now moving on to the other question so a tip here in this question elimination method will be used okay 
so use the elimination method wisely and read the question carefully okay the answer to this question is c so how is it c let's take a look at that uh, so the diagram basically shows an, ex an experiment to investigate the balance between respiration and photosynthesis okay uh, so we all know that uh, respiration takes place at night in the plants that when there is dark and photosynthesis takes place uh, during the daylight okay so we have to basically uh, find a balance between uh, both so in which test tube uh, are photosynthesis and respiration taking place at the same time uh, so option one is there any photosynthesis taking place because uh, in option a and b uh, we have basically covered it up with a black polythene to keep it out of light so we know that this will not be the answer because uh, like photosynthesis is not possible here because it is in the dark and in the dark uh, basically plants respire and then we have snail as well and snails basically respire as well obviously animals cannot do photosynthesis okay and then we have an option c okay uh, in option c there is light present and there is plant present and uh, we know that photosynthesis can take place in the light and if you like make it darker respiration can also take place okay so c is a possibility a and b are cancelled out but however we have to uh, take a look at option d as well uh, so option d we do not have plant over there so we know photosynthesis is not taking place there okay and obviously option d is cancelled as well so we are left with option c okay so the correct option was c okay last question uh during growth phase of potatoes it is uh, about the source and the sink so go ahead guys solve it let's see what you come up with during the growth basically during the growth of a potato plant uh, the potato plant produce uh, produce flowers and then underground organs like tubers basically alu tuber is alu okay okay uh, so during this time which parts of the plant act as a source and sink for translocation now we all know that uh, sink is a place uh, in the plant where basically food is required okay so if we like if we are like focusing on this simple word so in this case uh, remember that the plant is basically growing flowers and tubers so in flowers and tubers that is definitely going to be the sink okay and source is a place based basically where food is either like uh, like from which uh, from through which place the uh, food is basically transported okay so in this case mein, uh, we have two sinks so we have to know that that is a flower and then we have potato tuber so if we simply consider this option so we are left with the and we are left with C option okay like if we look at B the so flower is basically the sink and then we have tuber as well okay so we don't need to read the rest of the options we can cancel out options but uh, बाकी पढ़ने की जरूरत ही नहीं है ओके okay.